Ah, look at that warm fire. You know what that means. It is the new year and we've got some new predictions for you. But first, let's take a little bit of a look back at 2024. We predicted speed, reliability, and multicolor. All of those things came true. We saw machines like our friend here, the S1 from FL Sun, do the speed. We saw the reliability increase over all manufacturers. That has to do with a little bit of the slicer settings that they finally fine tuned over the years and just the different mechanisms that are built into the machines now that allow for great first layers and extrusion multipliers, allowing uh, any filament to be kind of modified as it goes. With that being said, Multicolor was the last one. And we did see one other printer come out last year, actually two other printers, but one that made it to market in mass. And that was the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo that sported an open frame system, a bed slinger, but the Anycubic color engine was a box with four spots for filament. And unlike the bamboo boxes up until this point, it had a filament dryer built in. So we think that's probably gonna be happening a lot more in 2025, but we'll have to stay tuned and see. So we saw reliability, we saw speed, we saw multicolor. Do you wanna give an honorable mention to Creality K2 Plus? That's making its way out to the masses right now. And so we'll kind of count in 24, count in 25. All right, so now that we've taken a look back at 2024, Let's go ahead and look into the future, which is 2025. We're gonna talk about 3D printing, we're gonna talk about single board computers, and we're gonna talk about a couple of other fun areas that Micro Center is working to get into. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about 3D printers. Now, we've all been waiting on pins and needles for this rumored Bamboo Lab XL printer, and we think it's gonna be here in the next few months or so. It was supposed to come out before Christmas, but you cannot hurry perfection. So we hope that they're working out all the bugs before it gets to us. We're excited to see what new feature sets it might bring, and we're excited ultimately to see how big it can go. We're also looking forward to what Creality, Anycubic, and Elegoo are doing as well in the 3D printer realm because they're continuing to push standards, they're continuing to push innovation and come out with other printers in their line, but whether it's resin or an FDM printer. And with Anycubic and Creality also getting into multicolor, we can only assume that more and more printers and more and more companies are going to go down that route as well. Now, will it always look like Bamboo's AMS or Creality's FMS? Maybe not, maybe there will be a different way in which we get the colors. We've seen everything from coloring it with Sharpie pens as a hack years ago, and now they're even using inkjet heads to help color the filament as it proceeds through the printer. I don't know what's gonna become of FDM and multicolor, but you can bet there will be more of it this year. I also think that speed, again, is going to be pushed and pushed and pushed. If by the end of the year, we don't have a printer pushing 1500 millimeters per second, I'd be surprised. The question is, what core component of the 3D printer needs to be bolstered or changed in order to get up to these speeds? Ultimately, we always know that the fastest 3D printer is another 3D printer. Prices are gonna to continue to come down and things are gonna to continue to go up in terms of quality and feature set. We saw that last year already with the A1 Mini hitting $179.99 during the holiday promotions. That's an incredible deal for an incredible little printer. We think we're gonna see more and more feature sets at a lower price. And as far as reliability goes, we're really getting there. We see here at Micro Center, based on the feedback you, the customers, give us through reviews uh, and through outreach, that you're having less and less problems with your printers nowadays. For the average user who's doing typical printing and using PLA for the most part, uh, 3D printing has gone a long, long way. Okay, even since the Ender 3 Pro, which was a great machine for its time. But now you're finding that you can run a Bamboo or a Creality for months and months and months and not have some of the issues you might've had in earlier days. So with that being said, it's always good to make sure that you have extra consumables and parts on hand. And this isn't quite a prediction so much as something that I know is going to happen. We're excited to say that Micro Center is gonna be carrying a large assortment of bamboo parts. Now we've carried them in the past, but we've been working with bamboo to make sure that they're labeled well and you can find them easily in the store. So make sure to stop by your local Micro Center to pick up 
bamboo parts in person. All right, moving away from 3D printing, let's talk 2025 in terms of single board computers. We've seen some really interesting stuff even in the last few months. Right now, we're up to Raspberry Pi 5 with eight gigabytes of RAM, a board that you can get for around $80 on any given day. But we've also now got the Pi 500 version, which is essentially the same board, but splayed out a little bit and put into a keyboard form factor, which I've always thought is really cool. These are very useful, handy, devices that have it kind of all almost ready to go. And Raspberry Pi has also been working on some other useful accessories, such as this Pi monitor here that we've got the fire running on. And the really cool thing about this is this monitor can be powered over USB-C from the Raspberry Pi. And although Raspberry Pi has come up from the maker community and now is seen in many people's eyes as a great tool for making gadgets, gizmos, and learning, it's also being used through their compute module form factor in industrial applications, whether it's AI imaging or whether it's controlling different things like motors and sensors. So Raspberry Pi is no longer just a maker board. It's definitely way, way more, especially with the power that you get in the Pi Five series. Now, there's a new old kid coming back to the block, and that is the NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super. The interesting thing about this new Jetson Nano is that it can perform up to 72 tera operations per second. Similar to the last Jetson Nano, you still get the 40 pin connector and you get a camera port and USB and HDMI. So you can use this thing as a computer but because of its ability to do up to 72 tops, you can also do some AI image models. I'm hoping to get my hand on one of those shortly and we'll do a little bit of a review, but we intend to have those at Micro Center for you. So keep checking back uh, to Micro Center for that. We'll do a video on it when it arrives. All right, so we've talked 3D printers and we've talked single board computers. For my biggest prediction of 2025, I think we're gonna take some giant steps this year in terms of people being able to use 3D printers for useful and functional items. Now, these little parts that you create don't have to be complicated, but they solve some sort of problem that you have, or they augment an object so that you can use it in the way that you wanna use it. I think more people are gonna become proficient at CAD and they're gonna start using AI to create 3D models. I wanna show you an example of something I used AI to do. Now, I didn't take it the whole way there. This little statue over here, he comes from a book called The Little Me and the Great Me. I was able to use AI to make him three-dimensional looking. I think we're gonna go from idea to concept to STL file all throughout AI more fluently this year. It's already happening, but I think it's gonna become even better. And I think in doing that, you're going to be able to say to the computer or say to the modeling software, I have an X and I want a bracket to hold a Z and it will create the Y for you. I'm really hopeful and I'm really excited that this year is gonna be the year that 3D printing goes from just printing trinkets and goes to printing useful things that you can use around the house. Keep an eye out for 3D printed computer case kits, 3D printed keyboard kits, and even 3D printed mice kits at your local Micro Center in the next couple of months. We are gonna test that out. We think that that's a really cool thing. Maybe even 3D printed speakers. We're really excited. 2025 is gonna be a great year. New printers, new tech, new enthusiasm, and we can't wait for you to get into Micro Center so you can share it with us. All right, we wish you the best for 2025 and we'll see you next time in the Maker Lab at Micro Center.